if you live in the UK, you have probably seen this clip before. Vincent, get in! Steve! Who are you? Vincent! Yeah, Steve, you've been grooming children online. Aye? You've been grooming children online. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I haven't. Come out and speak to us. Yeah, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, the man I'll... confronted in that video is called Stephen Baldock. He's aged 49, at least at the time of that sting. He is fr from Mottington and was talking to several of female decoys, which are basically fake underage kids that they have set up accounts for to pretend that the children to lure these predators and pedos and nonces into trying to meet up with them and then they confront them, get them arrested, etc. But he was talking to several female decoys between the ages of 13 and 15, knowing full well their ages, and he asked for sex. Disgusting! At first, in this thing, he tried to flat out deny it, as you saw in the clip, but a few seconds after denying it three or four times, he flat out admits it and some of the acts he admits to in the video is absolutely f in this thing as well he admits to having a phone call with who he believed to be an underage girl but it was actually one of the wives of uh, one of the people that confronted him in the video and as they spoke that she was actually in hospital preparing to give birth and the man Steve, the disgusting little pedo he is, admits to masturbating over the phone while she, uh, he was having a phone call with her. I sent a video of it. So he did that to what he thought was a minor. Let that just sink in for a minute. He tried to be very apologetic after he got caught. In the video, or in the sting, you can t see he is saying sorry countless times. He says he'll go get help. He'll hand his phone in willingly. He'll give all his devices up. Trying to seem like he will overcome his sickness or mentality or whatever you want to call it. Really, there's no excuse for his paedophilia. He's a disgusting man. I hope he rots in jail. Anyway, let's talk about what ha happened afterwards. And just a little heads up, guys. This next bit of information, I'm not sure which order it comes in. There's one bit of information where he was sentenced to stuff, and then there's one where he actually did something else, and then he did something else again. So the latest information will be last, but th between the next two, I'm not sure what happened next. But anyway... He was sentenced to a sexual prevention order. Basically, probably wasn't allowed social media, and he was put on the sex offenders list. He probably wasn't allowed social media, etc. And then after that, he got caught again. No surprise. He got caught by the same people again. He got caught by the same predator hunting group again, and they stung him. And I'm not going to show the footage because... I honestly don't have enough space on my computer for that. And it's over an hour long. So I can't even get a clip of it. But links will be left in the description to both the non -stings. So you can go ahead, click off the video if you want, then come back or do what you want. This is a short, shorter video than my usual non type videos. But that's besides the point. So Stephen, the 49-year-old, uh, who posed a risk for obviously female children, breached his sexual harm prevention order. He was previously convicted of sexual activity in 2016 when a non sting obviously took place and was sentenced to two years jail time, but suspended. But he was suspended for two years. Uh, he was also placed on the sex offenders register, which I know now for 10 years and was given a SHPO under the conditions that prohibited him from using the internet to contact or attempt to contact any female who he knows or believes to be the age or under the age of 16. And now we're moving on to the last incident I have of this disgusting child sex offender. Uh, on November 14th, 2020, during lockdown, obviously, Bardock initiated a contact with a 12-year-old girl via Instagram. At around 1.30am, he started a conversation with the girl, then he sent a photo of himself, and obviously he means... What I mean by that is a nude, disgusting. Residents who were living 
with Bulldog, whoever that was, discovered he was contacting girls under the age of 16 and reported him to the police. Obviously, because of the uh, things he got sentenced to, the sexual prevention order harm thing, whatever it's called, sir, uh, he wasn't allowed to message anyone. And then he messaged someone, or at least messaged an underage girl. Disgusting. So not only did he message a 12-year-old, he messaged five to four other underage girls. He clearly wasn't being monitored properly by either the people who he was living with or the police who were, I'm guessing, were apparently monitoring him. He got away with it for so long. Anyway, he was sentenced at Woolrich Crown Court on Monday, January 18th, to three years imprisonment for breaching the SHPO order. What the fuck? Now, I'm glad, finally, one of these disgusting nonces finally got sentenced, but at the same time, only three years for the countless times he has done this type of thing. He got caught once in 2016, he got caught again in 2017, I believe, and then in 2020, he did it again. First two was probably the worst incidents, because he actually masturbated who he thought was a minor. 2017, he attempted to meet up with a minor again, but this time, it was the same people that confronted him the first time, and then the third time, he messaged six, I believe, girls, and sent a picture of a nude to a minor. To probably the youngest girl who he's been talking to, at least at that time. What the actual fuck? So he's getting out next year as well, unless he's already been released, but I couldn't find any information to confirm that. That has to be one of the most disgusting paedophiles I've ever looked into. I hope he rots in hell, really. Anyway, that's me, Joseph the World. That's all the information I could find on the guy. If you have any other information, leave it in uh, the comments, I guess. Let me know if you want me to make any more of these videos on a specific one. Obviously, I can only do so much with... The information I actually have that is public. Anyway, that's been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.